an asteroid's heading our way. Oh, wait, I read that wrong. Hurry, an asteroid's heading our way. Oh, no, wait, wait, actually, don't panic too hard. This asteroid's moving at a very slow pace. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Hollywood loves a good asteroid movie. You know, the kind where scientists discover a giant rock racing through space on its path to hit New York with only a week's notice? What's wrong here? Well, first of all, an asteroid would never hit New York. New Yorkers would never let that happen. Also, scientists know when an asteroid is coming towards Earth, and they know much earlier than a week before. They know years before, hundreds of years. I'm bringing this up because there's an asteroid moving through our galaxy right now that's looking a little too friendly. Its name is Bennu. By the way, Bennu was named by a third grade student who won a contest, so we were this close to naming a giant asteroid Pikachu. Bennu is 1,600 feet across, and its impact could be 24 times more powerful than a nuclear explosion. Now, I find the name Bennu to be too cute for a massive space rock that could devastate Earth, but Nobody asked me to enter the contest. Anyway, on Sunday, September 25th, 2135. Freeze! Scientists are always learning new things, and they've updated this date to September 24th, 2182. Bennu has a one in 2700 chance, make that a one in 1750 chance, of striking our planet. It's too close to call right now, but it's looking like the path will be anywhere between Earth and about 50,000 miles from Earth. 50,000 miles sounds far, but it's only really about one-fifth the distance to the moon. So yeah, the news coming close. So why aren't we building underground fortresses for our great-great-grandchildren right now? Because we can actually move the path of the asteroid. Well, not me personally, but rocket scientists. Starting in the year 2125, <clears throat> 2172. That's 10 years before the predicted impact scientists will send up a series of 23 kinetic impactors, AKA spacecraft, right up to Bennu. And they'll gently nudge it about 5,000 miles off its course to Earth. Yes, we're saved. We're doing Bennu a favor, really. I can't imagine the trouble it'd get in if it landed on Fifth Avenue at rush hour. New Yorkers would not be into that. I'm walking here. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.